All right, uh, welcome to a quick uh, video tutorial on categorizing things in Daz Studio 4. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to scan for new content. Uh, you have to be on the content library tab. Yours may be I laid out a little different, but uh, it'll be the content library tab. You click up here, you click the uh, scan for known directories and files, and once you do that, it will pop up this little box. Uh, you can optionally tell it to mark files as new or not. Um, you click on it, you click accept, and it'll go off and it'll scan. I've already done that, so I'm gonna cancel here. Once that's done, the unassigned category will appear inside of default, and you will see what it has managed to find as uh, new content and your um, known runtime directories. So I'm going to go here and I'm gonna get, we have uh, some default lights or how about uh, something that looks a little uh, more intelligent here. We have uh, some uh, Journeyer Scout material presets. Okay. So what I can do is I can actually select these with the mouse. I can hold the control key if I want to select more than one. Uh, and then I'm just going to right click on it. I'm going to click on categorize that brings up the categorization window. Inside of the categorization window, I can do several things. Um, I can navigate to any directory I want. I can click the little check mark, and if I put the check mark there, that means that these items that I've selected here are going to be categorized into this category. But uh, perhaps I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to go into these other categories that I've created or migrated from my previous version. And I'm going to create a few new categories. So we have clothing, uh, this is Journey of Scouts Fantasy, it's casual. We're going to create a new subcategory. So I right click on the word ca casual, create new subcategory, uh, and I type Journey of Scout. And uh, then uh, that is there, and I can create another new category if I want. And these category names are pretty much entirely up to you. You can call them whatever you want and however you choose to organize them. I like to put the item name with the geometry here, and then all of its mats in a folder beneath it. That way it's kind of all together for me when I'm looking at the item. There's the mats that go with it. So if there were multiple texture sets for Journey or Scout, I could have them all listed right here. So right now, if I click Accept, nothing's going to happen. I actually have to select that box. It puts the little check mark there. And uh, if we were to scroll off of this, you'll see how the word Fantasy is in white. That lets you know that this item these items that I have selected are within the fantasy category, they're within the casual category, and you can see, you can kind of follow the trail there. That's a feature I petitioned Daz to put in, and they were more than gracious enough to do so, uh, so I'm very glad to see it there. It's subtle, but it works. So uh, now I'm going to click the accept button, and you'll note that they disappeared. And they disappeared because I did this from the unassigned category. Uh, and now if I scroll back here and I go to people, genesis, uh, clothing, fantasy, uh, casual, journey or scout, and there they are. Look, there are my items. Now, there's another thing you can do, which is you can utilize the hard drive representation folders, or libraries as they're called, um, within the content library view. These three folders here, the DAS Studio formats, the Poser formats, and the other import formats are quote unquote libraries that represent the actual files on your hard drive. When you're working within these three views, you can't actually remove the products without removing them from your hard drive. That would be a bad thing. So, uh, you know, you, you need to be careful there. But there are some pretty powerful things. I'll show you. This is my favorite part about working from this view. If I go here and I look at uh, animals, we have the Millennium Subdragon and we have the sample res materials. Now pretend there were a whole bunch of animals here other than the Millennium Subdragon. Uh, for instance, if I went into my critters 
uh, or go over here critters and go to figures like there's a ton of figures here right pretend it was something like that where I have lots and lots and lots of different figures um, I can right click on this folder and I can say create category from this folder and subfolders and when I do that everything in that folder from where I'm at and all the way below it will be recreated as a category inside of my categories library so I do that and now you see it's popped up I'm here at the categories level I can choose where I want to put it for the purposes of this I'm going to put it into the default category because I've already got a creators folder and I don't want another animals so I'm just going to select default and I'm going to click accept and now if I go back over here and I go into categories and go into default you'll see that there's animals, millennium, subdragon, materials, sample, res. And if there had been other subcategories there, then everything would have been pulled over. It's a pretty powerful tool. Uh, but that's the quick and dirty uh, how do I categorize things in Dev Studio 4. I hope you find it useful.